Hi, I'm Eric from Simply Elegant Home Cooking. Today I'm going to be sharing one of my favorite summer side dishes, yellow summer squash. But this isn't just any summer squash recipe. I'm going to be combining it with roasted red peppers and basil. The roasted red peppers have a nice sweet smoky flavor and they pair brilliantly well and create really a restaurant quality dish that's greater than the sum of its parts. So stick around and I'm going to show you how easy this is to put together. So this dish comes together very quickly, so it's a good idea to prep all your ingredients before you get started. And the prep is very simple. I'm just going to start by cutting these into about three quarter inch discs. And next I'm going to just cut each one of these discs in half. I'm using relatively small summer squash. If you have a larger piece, you probably want to cut these into quarters. Okay, and this next ingredient, the roasted red peppers, these really are the star of the dish. You can find these bottled, but now they're becoming increasingly popular in the Mediterranean and olive bar section, so you might want to check there if you have a nice grocery store. And what we want to do, we just want to cut these little slices uh, into, you know, into maybe three or four pieces, just like that. And I cut up about 15 of those pieces, uh, saved a few to snack on because these are delicious just by themselves. Next we're going to prep some garlic. Now you can use a garlic press if you prefer, but what I find works best is to actually start off by cutting these in half, just like that, and I'm going to remove this peel. And once you have that peel removed, you just want to slice the garlic as thin as you can get it with a knife. And when you're done slicing those garlic cloves, it should look a little something like this. And now for this next ingredient, the fresh basil. You'll notice I have a clean cutting board. This is very delicate and you don't want to get it wet. So I have a clean cutting board and I've cleaned and dried my knife. And what we want to do to prep this, we just want to take several of these leaves at once. And you want to just kind of roll them up with the bigger leaves on the outside and slice them thin with your knife. And I continued that off camera. That was a total of about 20 basil leaves that I sliced up. Okay, and now the very last ingredient to prep is a lemon. This is super simple. We're just gonna cut it in half. And we're only gonna need about half of that, so I'm gonna reserve the other half for other recipes that I do. Okay, and now we have all that prep out of the way and we're ready to get cooking. I have a large enameled cast iron skillet. I'm gonna turn this on to medium heat. Now, if you're using a non-stick skillet, you probably want to go even higher on the heat, uh, but this gets very, very hot because it's cast iron. So we're going to let this come up to full temperature. Okay, and what I'm going to do, I'm going to oil these before they go in that skillet. So I'm going to add several tablespoons of a very high quality extra virgin olive oil. And after you add that oil, you just want to mix these very thoroughly so they're all coated. And a few minutes later, now that that pan is scorching hot, we can add in the yellow squash. And you heard those sizzle the moment they hit the pan. Very important. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to just get them nice and evenly spaced out on their sides. And now that those are all on their broad sides, we're just going to let them go untouched for about three minutes. Uh, cooking veggies, it's no different than cooking a piece of meat. You want to get a nice sear and all that color you develop is going to be extra flavor. Okay, and now we're about three to four minutes in. Those have been searing and we're ready to give them a flip. And that's what you're looking for. You can see some of those have some amazing color on them. So at this point I'm going to turn the heat down a little bit and we're going to hit some of those other sides. Okay, and now after about another three to four minutes, I've turned the heat down even more. We're at about medium low, and I'm going to go in with the roasted red peppers, as well as that garlic. And it was very important that we added these later. The peppers in the garlic would have scorched under that higher heat. So that's why we did that in the order we did. But once you get it in there, you want to just keep it moving. 
and we're going to let this cook down for about a minute or two. This is also a good time to season the squash, so you want to add as little or as much salt and pepper as you like. And continue stirring. Okay, and now at this point I'm going to kill the heat. I'm going to juice that half lemon. And I'm also going to add about a tablespoon of butter. Now there's still plenty of residual heat in there, but we're going to get that in there and just kind of slowly move that around and let that butter lemon juice just kind of thicken up for a moment or two and we'll be ready to serve. And then the very last ingredient we're going to add is that fresh basil. So we'll get that in there and give it a final stir. And you can see that looks absolutely beautiful with the yellow, red, and green. These flavors, the roasted red peppers, basil, olive oil, lemon juice, they go just phenomenally well together. Okay, so here's the finished dish plated up yellow summer squash with fresh basil and roasted red pepper. Favorite part of every video, let me dig in and give this a bite. Mm. Those roasted red peppers and fresh basil just go so well together. They just really turn this side dish into something really, really elegant. But you saw how easy this was to put together. Really hope you enjoyed this recipe. I hope you give it a try. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I'm Eric from Simply Elegant Home Cooking, and I'll see you again soon.